from Phoenix Medical Systems. I'm actually representing two organizations today, Phoenix and DREV. Um, DREV is um, Design Revolution based in San Francisco. It's a product design non-profit company the, whose mission is to design products for the other 90%. 90% of the world's products are designed for the top 10%. And, and the mandate is to design for people who live on annual in, uh, daily incomes of about $4 a day. Phoenix Medical Systems is a, a Chennai-based uh, medical device manufacturer. Our focus is maternal and neonatal medical equipment. Uh, that is a tough act to follow. I mean, that guy had a cape and everything and cartoons and everything. <laughs> Uh, the best I can do is blue light, so bear with me, you know, uh, I, mean, I, I, can't, I can't wear a cape. Uh, it doesn't sell products anyway. But what I'm here to talk about is an equally important and impactful product, uh, a problem that is neonatal jaundice. And the, the product that we have come up with together with DREF is a low-cost phototherapy device that is effective and in, in every way uh, as... Uh, 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 worthy of international quality as any other device manufactured by any other person. 60% of all newborns have some degree of jaundice. About 12% of them require treatment. Now this is, uh, this, this is cloaked in, 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 in safetyness. When you look at a, a jaundiced baby, and at the end of it all, uh, you know, after 72 hours, the baby might pull through. So this doesn't cause that high a, a rate of mortality. So it is overlooked. But what it does, which is very significant, is uh, cerebral palsy, neuropathy, when the uh, bilirubin crosses the blood barrier. To backtrack a little bit, jaundice is a condition that is caused because of high bilirubin content of the blood. And it's caused by a variety of things. But if left untreated in the first 72 hours, 24 to 72 hours, the bilirubin crosses the blood-brain barrier and affects the brain. But this F symptom is noticed only maybe 10 years down the road. The baby might pull through, but you will never realize it until about 10 or 5 or 10 years when it reflects as uh, developmental disabilities. The treatment for this is quite simple and quite effective. It is phototherapy under a particular frequency of light, a blue light that works very well. What we have come up with is what we call Brilliance, a phototherapy device, very flexible, feature rich, it can be used uh, in most all uh, environments where this treatment is required, uh, in starting with NICUs to labor recovery rooms to far, far forward clinics as we like to call them where there is no infrastructure and I've seen babies on tabletops being treated. Has very effective uh, intensity, good coverage. Typically, we always say uh, uh, in, our, in our literature and in our education programs that one device is to be used for, uh, on one baby, but the ground reality is I've seen up to two or three babies under that, uh, under the blue light. This provides enough surface area to do that. We do not advise it, but. It is uh, $400 inside uh, India and $500 outside to cover the warranty costs, and it's C marked. One of the revolutionary things, like the silent killer that John does is, the silent impact maker that John does is, one of the revolutionary things that we have tried to do here is have a transparent pricing. It is $400 for everyone who buys this. There are no packages. Medical device prices are not openly advertised in India. We've tried to break that model by saying this is what it is. And distribution costs are added on to that. We try to, le we try to pass on as much of this to the end customer as possible. The objective being that every baby who requires treatment for jaundice should get a blue light therapy delivered to them as effectively as possible. Our version one, I mean, we are still changing the versions, improving the design. Our version one was la launched in November 2012. Since then, we have treated about 16,000 babies. That's about 300 or so units, I should say that data is missing. About 1,600, 16,000 babies. 
We also monitor the settings in which these devices have been sold and where they are being treated. Based on that, we can find out where babies would not have had access to this treatment, you know, in a rural setting or in, in a PHCs or in SNCOs in India. About 13 to 14,000 babies received this treatment. Based on WHO statistics, we then project this data and then find out how many estimate the deaths and disabilities averted. That's about 300 so far. Why are we talking about this kind of a problem in a forum that's focused on Africa? I, I, I refuse to use the term market, but the global burden in both these regions for neonatal jaundice is very similar. From WHO data, we know that the Indian region requires about 2.8 million um, cases, it requires phototherapy for about 2.8 million babies, and in the Af African sub-Saharan region is about 3.8 million, roughly comparable. We have implemented in roughly a year uh, this, this, this delivery method in India through Phoenix's own distribution networks, and we are embarking on supplying this, starting this in, in, the, in Africa as well as Southeast Asia. Sorry about all the formatting errors, but I didn't get to pick computers. <laughs> this, where the blue area is where currently installations are. So all over India, actually, some parts of Nepal, Philippines, and so on and so forth in Southeast Asia. Uh, we've supplied units through some NGOs to Malawi, Kenya, and a few other African hospitals where you know, this, this unit is being tried out and we received very good feedback. This, these are going to be our focus areas for future expansion and right in the next phase of this. What are the issues? What are the challenges? What are the opportunities for growth in these markets? One of the biggest things we are encountering is education and training. Education as in the importance of treating jaundice early in that window of opportunity available to prevent damage, and training on equipment and to how to handle and, and get the uh, treatment going, get the um, uh, equipment use, training, and all that. That's the other uh, um, important challenge here. Service support is another key to success. Part of the service is also educating people about the equipment and the, the facilities available. This is something very key. We were, we were successful in India because we already had a very good service network and we could leverage that. So that's what we are focusing on doing and that's where we need a lot of help also. The third major factor is what I call the product placement pipeline. That is to let the key decision makers know that there are products like this, affordable and innovative, high quality products available, which have withstood the test of time, uh, so to speak. Um, through, you know, make this known to other NGOs, make this available to the lists of requ required equipment uh, for ministries of health programs. We also have quite a few distributors that we work through. There are some pluses and minuses for distributors. We would like to be involved in the, in the service delivery equipment delivery till the end of the chain because we have tremendous ownership in our products and we cannot expect that from a distributor. So. With that, I thank you for your attention. And next time I'll try to have, I wear a cape or something like that so everybody is interested. Thank you. Thank you, Arun. I think you did a good job without the cape. Um, any questions? Lots, okay. Just a very quick one. When you say it's affordable, can you tell us what the international benchmarks for a machine like this would be to give us a sense? So it's interesting that you asked this question and I'm very happy you asked this question. <laughs> because, um, when we started this together with DREF, the um, phototherapy units, most affordable, I would say, uh, let's not talk about the quality and effectiveness, was about $1,200. And popular ones were about up to $3,000. Now these are sort of list prices and there are distributor markups and so on and so forth. Distributors don't work for, with anything less than 30% markup which is why we are trying alternative distribution schemes, you know, internet and stuff like that. But last I heard, somebody actually in one of the discussion forums uh, last week, I think, 
said that one of the major manufacturers is now starting to lower the price. Um, so and then this was posed as a question and a challenge to our business model saying, um, now they have started to lower the price, how will you survive? And I said, if they've started to lower their price and it, effect, and it gives effective phototherapy, then we've won. <laughs> uh, uh, so $400 is, is in India and about 500 uh, outside India gets us through the door. And it's a big challenge, manufacturing-wise. Uh, I know Dira looked far and wide to find somebody to manufacture this, and we actually, I should, I should give credit to our CEO, Sashi Kumar, who founded the company 25 years ago, for taking this risk, uh, and, and, but yet we, we were able to pull this through. 400, 500 gets us through the door into a lot of institutions, and that, that's our assessment. Does it also work with batteries or just with electricity? Uh, we are working on many different variations. We are still learning from field implementation. This does not work with batteries, um, but we are working on a design, a smaller design that might work, that will start working. We have not tested it fully yet, but yes, it can potentially work with batteries. So this is about, so in India at least, first market we targeted. Um, it is the nature of power that's more important. Uh, that's what we found. As in, you know, uh, mostly they are equipped with generators or UPS inverter systems where they can get something like 220 volts. Uh, so this is about, um, I think, built to be about 60 watts, but consumes about 35 watts right now. So which can easily work for hours together on any standard, if they have generators and generators or uh, an inverter. But it's universal voltage, so it can be easily ported to anywhere there is a plug, fed through an inverter or a generator, but we are working on a battery system. I saw a question in the back. Yeah, Aru, I uh, just wanted to know how important it is to have uh, serum glutamine testing facility at the point of care. So, a excellent question again. This is something that is close to our heart, and we've been trying to find some affordable technology that gets us there. Uh, Serum, it is important to assess, but as I, as I was mentioning to somebody this morning, there is no downside to uh, subjecting a baby to phototherapy to be on the safe side. Um, that's, so the, the AAP guidelines for high intensity phototherapy is about 35 microwatts, at which there is good reduction of bilirubin and there are no recorded uh, side effects. And that's what this device provides at, at a particular distance, a lot of, you know, without getting into the technicalities. And how much is the maximum and the minimum distance of the light source? Uh, between 30 and 55. 35 and 55. Thank you. For the market, market <coughs> access, so right now it's going to the NGOs or getting it listed, but have you had any thoughts of how you want to take it further? So, um, there are two, two aspects to the answer to this question. First, we leveraged existing Phoenix service network, for sales networks. So, it was part of our catalog, it gets equal or more attention than any of our products. So, that way, it, it, it sort of makes people wonder, why are they selling a phototherapy unit at $400? And so, there is some, so it's actually a, uh, convincing, we are convincing them that we are actually selling one for $400, <laughs> which is what is important. Um, the other aspect is uh, the distributors, whom we have actually, it's a challenge for us, we have actually cultivated a lot of the distributors and established channels outside of India. Now, if we are not careful about how the information is publicized, if we don't ensure that the end user gets this information, uh, there is a risk that the margin is captured by the distributor because it's as good as any other product, so they can sell it for a higher premium. And that's one of the challenges. It's to, it's to stay involved till the end, to make sure we collect feedback from the uh, end user. So that's the challenge. That's, that's the delivery system till the end point is going to be very challenging for us now. Uh, 